Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Onshore Computer Services and today I'd like to show you how to pull the chip out. Uh, this is a controller board for a uh, envelope printer and what happens is um, <coughs> when it prints, I've got some envelopes here that are good So you can see right here the top line as it pulls the envelope through it doesn't pull all the way so the stepper motor that controls it is not working right. Uh, you can see this one is the same. Um, so this one is doing on the bottom. This one has missed the top completely. Same thing here. So, um, <clears throat> as I was ob observing the printer, I discovered that uh, the bottom feeder is not pulling um, all the way. If I helped it with my finger, you know, like pull it down, it would print fine. So, uh, there are two chips that control the um, stepper motors on those printers. This one here and this one here. This is the bigger one that I think is the suspect. I think it's overheating because sometimes it actually prints okay. Um, especially in the beginning. And so what I will be doing is just to play it safe. These chips are fairly cheap. Uh, so I got this chip, this chip, and the two transistors or actually they're not transistors, they're voltage controllers. Uh, I'm going to replace all of the power circuitry on this uh, board. Um, I mean, the whole thing cost me less than five bucks, so why not? Now, in order for us to do that, we need a tool. I use Hacko 808. Um, the way it works is it has a um, heating element at the back, uh, on the front, and it has the pump on the back, and the way you do it is you heat up the, as you can see I've done a few pins, you heat up a pin, like so, and then pull it out. So, let me see if I could do it better. You can see that it's fairly easy to do. Now, this board, as I said, is an older board, so older boards are much easier to repair. They were much more repairable than the new boards. Uh, new boards have a lot of layers. Um, most boards have a central layer that is basically um, a screen. Um, it's uh, grounding the whole the whole board. This board has it, but it's this this mesh here. So most boards have this on the inside. Come on. And also, these boards are much heavier as far as uh, how they're put together. Uh, all of the components on this board go through the board, so uh, chance for cold joint are very small. So, basically, there we have it. All of the pins have been desoldered. Uh, there is some solder on the inside, which should be okay. Uh, so now we just have to catch it somewhere and lift it up. All right. Once it starts going, it's much easier. Now there is always a chance of damaging something, especially 
when it's not fully desoldered. To reduce the chance for damage, you might want to use a plastic pick tool. Um, except plastic breaks sometimes. These boards are well put together. All right, I'm gonna have to touch in a few more places. This is called industrial electronics. This is how airplanes are put together. You do not want to throw away those parts. They can be fixed, tested, recertified, and put back in service. Okay, well, let's try it again. So number three, the back is a little. Okay, well, let's see if we can pull it out now. Okay, it's moving. one that's still not willing to disconnect. Okay, let's see if that's good. Yep, come on, little cheapy. Boy, it looks to me like this board has been fixed in the past. Right. Hmm. Interesting. There's actually a wire wound around the and one of the connectors broke off well, one of two things either this chip was faulty um, which I doubt because the printer was working or didn't do a good job. Alright, let's pull the pin out. Okay. Okay. Um, this thing is out, as you can see. I'm not terribly proud of my job, but uh, no real harm done. So hopefully this helps somebody. So I got some new chips right here, and uh, we're gonna put one in. Putting one in is simpler. 
just put it in and solder. Thank you.